choose a teacher who obviously knows what he's talking about, who's had at least 10 years previous yoga experience. That's a test, you know, for some of them. A teacher who has proved himself, a teacher who will speak the truth no matter what it may cost him, in hard dollars, I mean. And a teacher who has given some kind of demonstration or other of his abilities. And a teacher who talks to you about things like discrimination. A teacher who, and this is an acid test, and this will knock 99% of them off the platform, I'm afraid. A teacher who believes when he takes his place on a platform in front of a small class like this, or a large audience, or a television audience, he is under technical oath before God. When you find such a teacher, if you're lucky enough to, if you deserve to, you will, when you do find such a teacher, stand fast and follow what he says, because such a teacher will be worth following. By diligent study which builds up correct background, follow carefully what's said, study in such a manner that you have a right background yourself. Something that is so good that you cannot easily uh, be led astray. You cannot be fooled uh, with the false prophets, with the false uh, claimants. Neither are you led astray by their false claims. There are many people who claim a communication uh, these days who do not know the first basic thing about metaphysics, never mind about practical occultism. And it staggers me that such people have the cheek and effrontery. It staggers me that such people are wicked enough. The word wicked, I mean, to get up in front of an audience and set themselves up as an authority on these things when they obviously know so little about them. So, by diligent study, you will protect yourself from these pitfalls. You won't be led astray. You will know what's right and what's wrong. Or if you don't know then, you'll soon learn what's right and what's wrong, and you'll be able to save yourself the hard knocks, which some of you have had. You've told me about the hard knocks you've had in the past. And I could weep for you. And at the same time, I could call you fools for not studying uh, in such a manner that you saved yourself these hard knocks. Thank you.